Hi guys, Hi. happy new year! So welcome back to another mm. video. It's been a while since I've sat down and talked. As you can probably tell, I am back at home. The term is all online again, <laughs> again. So I thought I would show you guys how I take notes and I will show how I take notes in the pandemic and outside of the pandemic. Let's start with my devices. So in my vlogs, you might see that I use my laptop and my iPad. So I use the iPad, which is an iPad Pro 12.9 inch 2019 and it is in rose gold, I think. And I have this keyboard, which is my favorite keyboard by far. I got this from Amazon and it is just the nicest, most aesthetic keyboard. I really like this. But prior to this, I actually used two other keyboards. One I broke, so I don't recommend that one. But this one is by Artec and this one one is actually also really really good battery life on both is actually amazing and it's just bluetooth connected to my ipad so i use this alongside my ipad but basically why i switched to this one is because i just wanted the aesthetics so there's nothing wrong with this one so just go for whichever one suits you best this one is a little bit smaller and i do prefer something a bit bigger so the pink one works for me better and then my apple pencil which is very very useful for all my readings and so there's that i recently got the macbook Air 2020 version but before that I was using a custom built laptop which is a gaming laptop that my brother got basically why I bought the Apple one which every single other Cambridge student uses and I said I would never use it but here I am <laughs> is basically because I wanted something that was very light because I was always carrying around my laptop and my black one was very heavy so the MacBook Air really helps me with like weight wise and also I just really like how the keys and stuff are <laughs> So for physical in-person lectures, I only bring my iPad and this is all I really need when I'm working in my room or in the library or if I'm like hitting out an essay that I will use my laptop and then use my iPad for notes and for reading and then for supervisions, I will just bring my iPad as well and that's also sufficient. What I mainly use the laptop for was typing my essays and also accessing websites and like doing research. So on my iPad, I use Notability and Google Docs for my notes. So Notability, I have all of my supervision and lecture notes and basically just everything, like all my reading, essay feedback, things like that. I have that all on Notability. It's on the App Store and I paid for it, but honestly, it is a really good app. I know people either use Notability or like GoodNotes, but I personally prefer Notability just because of its layout and how easy it is to access. And then I use Google Docs to take my main notes because I like how transferable it is and it's just the easiest for me because I switch between my laptop and my iPad a lot so having it on Google Docs is just good. So during lectures I would have Notability up on the left hand side with the lecture handout and then I would have Google Docs on the right hand side to write my lecture notes and during the lecture I would switch between writing with my Apple Pen on the lecture handout and then just like typing as well on my notes. So the actual taking of the notes, my note taking is honestly very simple. I bullet point absolutely everything because I found that that was the way that I memorized the quickest and also when I read it back, it made more sense to me. I normally never copy and paste the lecture handout just because when it's not in my words, then I can't understand it basically. But I will refer back to handouts with the notes that I've written down. I underline the case names and then I just have my main points. I put in red any kind of like evaluation and basically recently everyone's been going on about how using Comic Sans is really good for memorization so I'm gonna try it out and I'll let you guys know how it goes I might start to take all my notes in Comic Sans to up my game so I read a little bit more into this and apparently the idea behind it is that Comic Sans looks like a non-threatening friendly font so when you use it it's easier to read and easier to understand and digest so I would recommend if you want to try it out editing this here so i wanted to talk a little bit about writing notes so for a levels i did like handwrite 
all or most of my notes because it helped me to process and also understand things better and I did try with aesthetic notes and I really thought I would be that girl in uni that does really nice aesthetic written notes or at least like on my iPad but it just never happened I think law has too much content for me to like write everything down typing is like so much easier especially with my format of exams last year where everything was online it was just easier to keep everything typed i don't know if i'll resort back to writing later on i actually really like using cue cards and i really like writing my notes but just hasn't happened yet in my short uni life so yeah What I found worked the best for me was so we have lectures and supervisions and they cover the same material but in different depths and also sometimes there might be certain things that they say in lectures that they don't say in supervisions and vice versa and also I have a long reading list well like every single day so all the reading has to go somewhere as well and what I did at the beginning was that I had two separate documents so I would have my lecture google docs and then I would have my supervision google docs and that was a big problem because a lot of the content does overlap so what I found was that I just had two sets of notes that were about the same things but just like slightly different material and I just didn't know what to do so I started to take notes by topic instead of by lecture or by supervision I normally base my learning on all the reading and the supervision materials so most of the time the document is already filled before I attend the lectures that's just kind of like how the pacing works it just really depends on how your timetable works out sometimes you cover the material in your supervision first or sometimes you cover it in lectures first and it's ideal when you cover it in the supervision first because there's more detail there so you kind of have a better structure and layout if you've done all your reading so that's what I used to do I would do all my supervision reading hopefully and I go to the lectures and I use the lectures as like a revision or like a foundation to my learning and to just like solidify concepts that I would have covered in the reading and then when it came to exam time I just transferred everything to one single document so that I had all my notes in one place and everything that I ever needed and that also worked really well because in the supervisions and in the lectures there was always a lot of extra material or just things that I didn't need Okay, so now for in the pandemic, it's basically the same except now I use my laptop to listen to lectures and my iPad to note take and instead of writing on my lecture handouts, I just don't write anymore. When I had physical lectures, it was really helpful to write because obviously you're just there, like everything's happening so quickly, you just need to jot things down and like understand whereas for online lectures because i can just like pause 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 repeat pause 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 two times repeat so there wasn't a need to do things super quick so i spent a little bit more time typing notes on google docs which would be used for my exams later on anyway and that is basically it so, so that is basically just how i take notes like honestly nothing fancy that's probably why i was so reluctant to make the video because like i feel like my note taking whatever is just so simple like there's nothing interesting about it yeah so <laughs> so i'll see you guys in the next video bye thank you for listening to my <laughs> tiktok